Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Let's play some more Resident Evil 3. You'll have to excuse me, I'm, I'm not feeling great today. I got a little bit of a sore throat and some stuff going on, so if I don't talk quite as much, well then you know why. But uh, we were supposed to go this way last time. However, for whatever reason, I am compelled to go back down this way. I know there's a bunch of zombies out here, but I feel like for some reason there's got to be something down here. I don't know why. I was I was thinking about it all day today, and I, I don't know why. But I'm going to go back this way real quick. I know I'm pretty sure I can't go in here. Yeah, okay, so I'm not going to go in there. Now let's just go run out this way and see what's going on. Wait a minute. I don't remember there being live people out of here. What the hell? Get back here. Get your white, really, really fast ass back here. What the? And now she's gone. That bitch. So wait a minute. Is she back here? How the hell? She, apparently she has uh, harnessed the ability to... Uh, oh, she's dead. Oh, snap. Okay. Well, that explains that. Let me check her corpse here. I... This is something that I've never known about this game. Hold on a minute. This is... This is different. So who the hell is this? She's dead. Is that it? Really? Oh, bullshit. Okay. Well, that was a waste of my time. All that running around just to find out that she's dead. I wasted a full minute and a half of your time. <laughs> well, there's that. And I keep... God, I've been playing... I've been playing a little bit of, um... Oh, for God's sakes. Okay, I get it. I've been playing a little bit of uh, the original Resident Evil 2, so I'm getting a, a little bit of my buttons mixed up here. My bad. My bad. Okay, well now that we got that all out of the way... Man, that's weird. I was wondering if maybe there's a possibility you could actually catch up to her, but I guess that that is not possible. And those two zombies that were dead here are now gone. I'm gone yet. I'm not gone. Alright, well we can go down here. And we can go right on through this door here. There's one, if there's one thing about Resident Evil games that I never figured out, there are so many different doors. Doors that do not make sense. Um, like, whoo, hey, what's up? Can I go over here? I cannot go over here. Well, I'm not gonna waste my time with you. It'd be a waste of bullets. It would also be a waste of bullets for you. I can't go in here from here, can I? I can't. Uh, we'll find our way in there in a minute. Eventually. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> I love how they're just like, they walk right next to you, but they still don't get you anyways. Ooh, there's some herbs up there. Yeah, the door to the boutique's locked. We'll eventually get that later on in this game after we totally beat the hell out of it. I'm gonna pick up one of these. Yes. Will you take the map involuntarily? Of course you will. So I need to go to the, apparently the bar and the sales office. Eventually. And that is going to happen. I'm going to take a couple of these. I feel bad for the poor sap that's getting himself eaten to total oblivion right now. Oh, I don't need to do that yet. I need to get the other one first. I will take the green herb, of course. Why, thank you. And then we'll combine them both to make a mixed herb. Lovely. I like how in the last video I said I was going to pronounce it properly. And I totally haven't done that yet. You can die. Okay. I'm just going to run... Oh, we've got a crawler. Creepy crawlers. Oh, whatever. Is it worth it? Oh, sure is. Okay, God, I love being able to run by people. Save your bullets when you can, my friends. Not everybody needs to die. Even though everybody should die, not everybody needs to die. Like, really? This door here? I mean, what are we doing? Going into a fucking castle or something? My god. Okay. Oh, I remember this spot. Yeah, let's, let's go right on down here. Hey, I remember that guy. That's our good old friend Brad, and that guy doesn't have a head anymore. Hey, I got a secret for you. Come, come close. Yeah! Ho oh. ho! Yes, I'm sure you are not feeling so good. Would you like me to get some Advil for that headache of yours? I should probably be a little more frugal on the shotgun ammo since we don't really have any. So, I will just have to be a little bit more careful now. Da -dun -dun. Oh, you got infected, my friend. Oh, Brad. 
Do I help you or do I not? Eh, sure, why not? I'll help your poor, twisted soul. Even though you made me waste a few bullets on that. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? Because they're jerks. You're still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. I don't think anybody is. Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. Who's he? What are you saying? You'll see. <laughs> oh yeah, that's 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 the nice. Stars members. There's no escape. He's after the stars members, huh? Well, that's nice. Will you take the lighter? Yes. You know what we can do with that lighter? We can take this lighter oil and put it in the lighter. Yeah. Now we have a fully functional lighter, and that's important. We got a little postcard here. The Clock Tower postcard. It kind of reminds me of the game Clock Tower, actually. Even though I've never played it before. And yeah, blah blah blah. The following explanation is printed on the back side. A landmark spot. St. Michael Clock Tower. Well, there we go. Now we have that. Thank God we don't have to actually hold on to that. That would be a total waste. Will you take the handgun bullets? Of course. Since we were running a little bit low, that was actually good. And some guy didn't even finish his donuts. Partially consumed donuts and milk. I didn't know they sold milk by the carton there, but I guess they do. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not feeling at the top of my game over the, uh, over the last few days here. I just, uh... Ever since the 4th of July, which I totally threw my... Well, I didn't really completely throw my back out, but I kind of did. I, uh, I strained a back muscle playing badminton. I mean, you're probably wondering, how the fuck do you do that? Well, I'll tell you how the fuck I do that. Um, I do that in the sense of just, I don't know, I'm not, I, I was doing a lot of running around, you know, contorting at weird angles and, you know, diving and throwing myself all over the place, so I guess it was bound to happen. You know, not much you could do about that. Let's go down this way first, because I forgot where this goes. You open the lock. You. Me. Me too. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember that. Well, I guess that explains where that door goes. And now we will go the way that we were probably supposed to go. Dun dun dun. Yeah, here we go. But yeah, back to the... Yeah, there's so many random doors in here that don't look like they would belong there. Like that, that one's, that one's fine. Ooh, this doesn't sound good. Explosions! Okay, what I'm gonna do really quick, you should take your lighter, and I don't, I'm sorry that I keep pausing there, but it, it keeps happening, so, my bad. I'm gonna take that lighter and light this thing on fire, and now everybody's gonna break in after you. And we're gonna give them a good old-fashioned slobber knocker. You ready? Three, two, one, suck it, bitches! <laughs> Even though some of you guys are still alive, but that's that's okay. It was fun killing you anyways. Dun, dun, dun. And we're just gonna go right on by you. I don't know whether I can... Uh... Ooh, photo A. That's not really what I was going for. The policemen are pressing forward. It's dated September 27th, the day after my brother's birthday. Now, can I take one of... I wonder what happens if I try to combine that with one of these. Can I do that? I cannot. Okay. Well, so much for that, and now I'm getting boxed into a corner. That's, that's just great. See, that's the reason why I don't come over in this area very much, because that happens. I hate that noise. Oh, not the dogs. Oh, dogs. I hate those guys. Well, I'm not even going to bother with them. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run away. Oh, shit. We got two of these doors. God. Didn't think I was going to get to that for a second. I thought he was going to eat on my flesh. Ah, yes. Got the good old-fashioned save room music again. I can't, oh, I didn't even mean to carry that. Uh, I don't need to use this right now. Well, I guess I'll just put it away then. What a waste. Okay, we got one of these here. I can put one of those away too. Probably won't need the lighter for a while that I can think of. And then that'll be good. And then we can start combining some more ammunition. Um, 
I think that for the time being, I'm going to put this gunpowder A away. But I do need to use this to make some shotgun shells. Some good old shells and white cheddar. God, that sounds really good right now. Oh, by the way, I tried one of those, um, one of those new, um, like, sam- like, the new, like, sandwich things from Domino's today. It was really good. Definitely exceeded my expectations for that. Because they had, like, this awesome, awesome deal going on for small businesses today for some reason, where, like, you get a free pizza and, like, their entire inventory was half off. So, I was like, fucking sweet, I'll, I will definitely go along with that. It's locked with a simple lock. Oh boy. Okay, well I guess we're gonna be going this way. Oh boy, I got a small story about this. So, when I was younger, when I used to play this, I never, ever got past this next part. You wanna know why? Well, here's the thing. In order to find out why, you're gonna have to watch the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Because of the fact that this is gonna get real interesting real quick. So yes, this is your host AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching. And sorry for the cliffhanger, but another reason why I'm stopping is that my throat is starting to hurt really bad, and it's starting to hurt really bad to speak, so... I don't mean to cut you off early, but I did think that the cliffhanger would be kind of suitable. So yeah, when you come back next time, we're gonna figure out why it is that I can't get... or why it is that it freaked me out as a kid to go into that door. So yeah, you guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.